oh, I'm here at Legacy Thrift. My favorite. Here we go. I'm here at Legacy Thrift. I love this place. And I'm looking at the artwork. Just, I'm just wondering what, they're not consignment. That's just like a special notation. I don't really know. Not really sure. Anyway, um, it is pretty, very pretty. It's kind of neat. A little uh, French postcard. I like that. This is also a fun piece. Summer Sheridan. That's a painting, right? And then the frame is all decorated. That's cute. Oh, that is adorable. Zebras. Love that. Bird. Pretty, pretty. 1986. I like that. Oh, there's two. Those are cute. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm gonna ponder these. Those would be really good. I, I have so little wall space in my house, but maybe I could find a spot for these because they are adorable. Uh oh, that wasn't me. It's a pretty little garden print. Okay, we have a Minnesota cross stitch. Oh, it's got a stain on it. It's cool otherwise. Really cute. bird photography and yeah well that's our stone arch bridge that's cool okay this is pretty a little vintage print I like that I'm trying to see if it's water damage a lot of times these are I don't know why but that's pretty mm. Some little Hummel prints. All right. Okay, some of the larger artwork. $12.99. This big one's $5.99. That's really pretty. And that one is $14.99. It's really good for the size. It's very large. $7.99. Oh, that is cute. $7.99. I like this a lot. Very cool. It's, an, it's a watercolors. For $7.99, that's really good and it's really cute. Okay, this caught my eye. Yeah, Broken Arrow Pottery 2017. I think that's from Colorado. I can't, I can't remember. There's a, I think there's like tribal artists that do this. This has some, maybe has some condition issues, but pretty. And then just some little pretty pink little collection here. Pottery. Oh, I cannot read that. I don't know what that says. Oops. It's pretty. Chamberlain, I think. And that must be what this also says. Chamberlain. Chamberlain. That's what that says. So that must also be what this says. A little milk glass. I've sold these before. They don't sell for very much, but this one's in really good shape. I always love to look at the dishes. This is a pretty set. Wedgwood, it's called. Oh, bye. Wedgwood Bone China. Made in. Nope. Definitely can't read that. Made in England. There we go. Which makes sense. <laughs> Very similar to my mother's China. I had more of my mother's china and we moved many, many, many times when our kids were young and I seem to have misplaced my mother's china in one of the moves. Or we also had a house fire back in 2004. 
tell you that story someday. And um, so it's possible it was lost then. I don't know. Oh, I love these. Those are cool. Bulgaria. That is really cool pottery. I can't collect another kind of pottery because I already collect Polish pottery, but it's pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. I just want to see if it has a maker on it. Nope, it has a mark, 978. A mold mark, I guess that is. It's really pretty though. What else? Oh, we'll sit there. Oh, this is pretty. Some lovely things, always lovely things at Legacy. I always love the salt shaker aisle. Oh, complete set. Cute. Is here chip oh, broken flower, but they are pretty. Little corral bowl, I think. These are nice. I like that pattern. Oh, Martha Stewart definitely has some condition issues. <laughs> look vintage. Let's see. Hand decorated, made in America, oven proof, detergent proof, under glazed. Cute. Those are really cute. That's pretty. Made in England. Really pretty. This is a uh, Francoma. Yes, I knew. I had the F. I just couldn't think of the rest of the word. Francoma. Little soup terrain. Oh, with its spoon. Two ninety nine. That's a great price. Um, and it has its little ceramic spoon. <clears throat> has its little ceramic spoon, which is unusual. A lot of times those are missing. This is cute. Home, made in China, I think it's Walmart. Cute pattern though. That's a sweet little dish. Carlton Ware, made in England. Fun. They're really thin. Hmm. Kind of fun though. Bubble in the glass. If they break. I like them though. I was actually thinking of grabbing these for the pink elephant, but one is chipped right on the rim. They do seem a little delicate, so maybe it's better but these are so cute $1.89 for all of them they're just from oh they're melamine from target they're so cute though i like those very farmhousey the cream doesn't really go with what i have going on in my kitchen but they are fun A little collection of bone dishes love the patterns. It's okay. I wonder, this must have had something else sitting here, maybe like a bowl or something. Cute little teeny tiny pitcher. Lancaster Limited Hanley England. So delicate and tiny. We've got some courier and dives down here. Good prices on those. 99 cents and 3.99. This is kind of 
kind of different. I wonder. Weird. Hmm. I like that blue knob, but I'm not sure about the rest of it. What is that? Hmm. Curious. I don't know what that's for. Bean pots. Those are fun. $1.99. That's a really good price. It doesn't have its lid. $5.99. Good price. Got a nut grinder. And rock made in USA. Definitely has some age to it. It's a cute little uh, pan. Corningware. It's kind of scratched up. No lid. But still cute. table, lead-free stoneware. Made in Israel. It's pretty. I always check the spreaders. Ooh, when I need one more of these, I think I'm one short. I might get one to complete my set. I think I need one. Hmm, I wish I could remember. Alright, I'm going to look through and see which one looks like it's in the best shape. I always like this aisle. It's like the little tchotchke aisle. The music gets a little loud back here, so I might have to put some music over this, but. What are these? I don't know. There's a lot of them though. Hmm. They're like flat buttons. What are they for? I do not know. <laughs> this is pretty horse. Piece of pottery. And Peas? Is that what that is? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, but the coloring is like flashed on. Interesting, and it's peeling off. Bummer. These are adorable with the pink candles. Made in China. They're cute though. Very cute. I like those colors together. This is a fun little teapot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I said teapot. Like it was a question. Yes, it's a teapot, Nicole. <laughs> oh, it's Odigiri. Odigiri? Odigiri. I don't remember. It's cute though. These little oh, these have tags on them. Fanny kids? Is that what that says? Fanny kins. Fanny kins. Any glasses, friends. <laughs> oh, my mother definitely had something like this when I was little. I remember this very clearly. Hers might have been an ashtray. This is adorable. I love that. It's always like the baby area. And a lot of times this is like the anniversary area. I love that bird plate. Very pretty. The anniversary shelf. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. 
Oh, it's musical. 22nd anniversary from Brenda and somebody. Cute. Okay, the cow and slippers totally caught my eye. <laughs> Westland giftware. Oh my gosh. I always have to check the mugs just in case. Just in case there's something I can't live without. Today there does not appear to be anything I can't live without. Okay, this is cute. <laughs> I can live without it, but it is cute. Demitasse cups, some tea cups, and of course the teapots. I always like to show you all the teapots. Not too many today. Well, a lot of white ones actually, but not too many uh, different and interesting ones. A little more interesting pieces of glass. Pink, some luster. Or carnival, is that what that is? Um, and some yellow, yellow bowl, yellow dish. It's pretty too. It really doesn't sell for me, to be really honest. I do have some in my booth and it just sits there. And it kind of takes up a lot of space. So. All right, let's head to the furniture. Okay, I'm over in the furniture and the first thing that caught my eye is this really cute vintage green storage basket bench. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh my gosh, it just got better. <laughs> that is so adorable. I just love that. I think it's so cute. All right, tables and chairs. Love this little chair. For 17, 18 on that little table. 45 on this old dresser, love. Oh, I can't test it, I don't have two hands. We have here. A little Mary Englebright piece. Cute. Lots of nice old dressers, desks, great prices 3535. Vintage secretary. Okay, not as much in the furniture today. So, a lot of times there's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not as much today, but that's okay. Dry sink, that's cute. 75. Guys, I couldn't film this because uh, I was totally in the way, but oh my gosh, look at what I just found. It's a blow mold. It's so cute. It's 25. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Made in USA. It's hard to read it. Made in USA. Empire. It's upside, like the stamp is actually backwards, which is a little weird. But super cute. Okay, I'm in the little vintage nook. And I spotted this. So cute. 10 bucks. A little glass refrigerator dish. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Little Orphan Annie. I love the color. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Love that. that. Bowl is still there. It's been there a while. 30. I don't know why it hasn't sold. Maybe it's not as desirable because the stripe is not blue. I'm not sure. This is kind of fun. <gasps> It's so cute. Wind a basket. And it's like a whole. Well, this is Minneapolis, but then this is like travel themed. I don't know. It's a mishmash, but I like it. Fun. Got an old watering can for 10. That's actually a really good price. I do not have any room for any more in my life, but it's a good price. 
All right. This is that vintage area. I've shown this to you before. Love me a recipe box. Um, it's cute. Three bucks, a good price. That is a great price. 15 bucks for the set. They're they totally giving like 1930s vibes. I don't know when they're from, but that's what they're giving me. 40s, 40s, 50s. I don't really know, but super cute. This has been here a little while, so. That was here last time. I love those old clothespins. That's cool. Eight bucks for the whole bag. That's good. And some s sleds if uh, you needed to start, you know, wanted to start building a display for winter. All right. I think that's going to do it for today. I'll take you back to, I'm going to go pay and I'll take you back to my house and show you what I got. Hello. I'm here to show you what I bought at Legacy Thrift. I have my coffee. Mm, delightful. This is in a mug. I bought this mug at a yard sale uh, in a video years ago. Like probably, I don't know if it was, gosh, it might've been like 2019, summer of 2019. I don't know why, but I love this mug. I bought it because it said New England coffee and I'm from um, the Northeast. So I thought that was cool, but the shape of it is great. I can actually take it in my car if it's not too full and set it in the cup holder. So I don't always have to have like a stainless steel travel mug, which is, I don't just like the feel of a mug. So anyway, just wanted to follow up that uh, I do use the things I buy. Sometimes people question it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're doing well. Here's my updates. Um, job is going great. Molly got to France. Okay, there is a vlog coming. I'm working on editing it just don't have as much time to edit. And these videos are my priority. My um, thrift with me's are my priority. So uh, I am working on that. And yeah, so she got there okay. Oops, the dogs are barking. Don't know why. Um, and her family's great. She's taking care of three children as an au pair. And they're just terrific. So I've been practicing my French. I did take French in high school and college. And sorry, my voice is a little, a little growly. I haven't done much talking today. It's the morning. So I haven't used the voice yet a lot today. But anyway, um, I took French in college and high school. So, but I haven't really spoken it much since then. So I'm brushing up because I'm hoping to go visit Molly in the spring. That'll be great. So anyway, hold on. Sorry if I look a little shiny. I just did my moisturizing slash vitamin C oil for the morning. And um, so if I look a little shiny, that's why it's fresh. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yes, Molly's doing well, job is great, and I'm going to show you what I bought. Okay, so I bought a few, so this is uh, Legacy Thrift. I love Legacy Thrift because their prices are very good, and I usually get more than I did, but I don't know, you know, I'm just being particular, but I did get one big item, which you probably know if you watched the thrift with me. If not, you'll see it here. So uh, I'm going to start with not the bigger items. Well, I'll just start with the little things and get them out of my way. So I did pick up this salt and pepper shaker. Now, I picked it up because it kind of looks like a turkey. What were these? Because I have seen them many, many times. And often I just see the salt shakers or I'll just see this and it doesn't have salt shakers in it. I bought it because it's complete and it just looks like a turkey. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could totally use that at Thanksgiving. But what, what was it meant to be it? Like, I mean, it's obviously not a turkey. So like, what was the deal with these? Does anybody know the history of these? I have no idea. Michelle, are you on here? Um, maybe you know. So anyway, I thought they were super cute. They were $1.79 and I got them because they remind me of a turkey. I really don't know what they're supposed to be. I would love to know though, if you know. Okay. Then I did also, of course, pick up this blue piece, blue and white piece, which I thought was gorgeous. My light is angled weird again. I told you I'm using this room also as my workstation, which is where where my um, junk journal station was. But you know, now I don't have the luxury of having a junk journal station because I need a desk for my work, my job that I get paid for. But anyway, because of that, I'm always having to move my like setup so that's why I'm always um, futzing with the camera and the uh, light now because I'm always moving it because, oh, and that's because I go on meetings on, um, on camera. And so like, obviously I don't want a tripod and a light in my background. So anyway, that's the scoop there. So that's why everything's kind of, I'm always like, oh, the camera's too high. Oh, the light is weird. That's why. 
Anyway, so um, here it is, this blue piece. I thought it was gorgeous. I'm guessing it was like a sugar bowl maybe, or I don't know. I don't know why you'd have two handles on a cup. So it's probably a sugar bowl or some kind of soup thing. I don't really know. I'm guessing a sugar bowl probably makes the most sense, although it doesn't have a lid. So maybe it's an uncovered one. I don't really know, but it is pretty and I'm not using it for any of those things. Um, I'm just going to use it decoratively. I usually stick like a faux succulent in there or something. Okay. Then I also picked up... Now they're totally, I guess they're kind of like 80s colors, but I like these colors and it's what I use in my bedroom. So, and I do a nature theme in my bedroom. So I got these two. Oh my gosh. This is the one that like got me. Like I liked this bluebird a lot, but then I saw the robin. And I was like, oh, I'm absolutely getting those. And they were only $2.99 a piece, which I thought was a great deal. I like the matting. I like the frame. It goes with the woodwork of my house. I know some people hate that color. That's the woodwork of my house. You can see it behind me. The honey oak. It doesn't bother me. No, I'm not going to paint it all white ever. <laughs> um, so I'm perfectly happy with it. So I, that's why I got those. Those will go in my bedroom. Um, I actually took some artwork from my bedroom that I never loved in there. I just had it in there because I don't, I don't have a lot of wall space in my public areas. Um, so I took some artwork from my bedroom and put it in my new office. So now I have blank spaces. So it was actually really um, serendipitous that I found these when I did. So that was good. And then I also got this one, which I will probably put at the pink elephant. It was $5.99, but this style of picture is very popular right now at the pink elephant. The youths are the ones buying it, which is really funny. Um, it's like, well, you know, what your granny had. And um, yeah. And if nothing else, sometimes they'll buy them and then they'll um, use it just for the frame. But this is the strangest thing. Like at our shop, one of the dealers now has started. I mean, this is looks like it was an actual print, but one of the dealers has taken an old book of birds and like with pages that size, has torn each page out, put it in a bag and is selling them for five dollars a piece for a page of a book. I'm like, do the youths not realize that you could probably go on a books and get those prints in a book? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for the seller, but I'm just like, youths, why? Why are you paying $5 for a page in a book? Anyway, so buying this for $5.99, um, it's a page of a book. No, it's a print in a frame. I will definitely be able to resell that. So that will go to the pink elephant and pay for some of my purchases. Now, I'm gonna grab my very big, oh, Molly's texting me from France. I don't know what she's saying, um, but I'll look at it in a minute. I'm gonna get my very big purchase and show it to you, hold on. <laughs> of course I had to get the blow mold. So these sell, resell for an obscene amount of money right now. I am not selling mine. Um, I'm going to put it in my family room with, I have a few other blow molds. This one is, um, Emp I think it's Empire. Yeah. I think I showed you in the video, but if you missed it, there's the symbol. Oh, you can actually see it a little better here. And if you're looking at it in real life, it's actually backwards, which is kind of weird. I guess they stamped it on the other side before they like sealed the pumpkin up. So anyway, um, it's made in USA. Whoa. And I just love it. I think it's adorable. And um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy having it in my house. Just think it's great. So um, I have another dancing jack-o'-lantern, I think, for Halloween. Uh, and maybe some smaller light-up ones. So I think I'm going to just do a little display near my fireplace, like the mantle. Um, not on the mantle, obviously, but on, you know, the tile in front of my fireplace. That's my plan. Last year, I missed out putting my Halloween de decoration stuff was going on and I just had of left for school. You know, it was, it was a tough time last year. So we're in a better place this year. <laughs> I am in a better place this year. So anyway, um, that is, those are my purchases from the Legacy Thrift Store. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed coming with me. Um, yeah. And I don't know what the next video will be. I haven't gone anywhere yet. So I'll figure that out and I'll get you another video next week. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.